Well, we have a special treat for you today. Mm-hmm. Huge. Joining us in the studio is a man who doesn't he doesn't do this very often. He doesn't go to the radio stations that much. At least I like to think that. <laughs> we want to feel special. <laughs> say hello to Hosier. Hosier. <laughs> Did I say it right? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. so funny because I think when the announcers pronounced it like that on the Grammys, they said Hosier. I was like, oh, he said it wrong. It's right, Hosier. Right. It, it's, uh, I, hate, I hate to do it. It is Hosier. Hosier. Yeah. Hosier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hosier. That's a perfect name if you had an airline. Hosier. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, totally, yeah. Here in the States, we've been calling you Hosier. Uh-huh. Hosier. I'm sorry yeah. for all Americans. No, yeah. that's, that's forgivable. Totally, no, yeah. He's been quoted saying, I don't care what you call me as long as you're talking Just call about me, it. baby. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, well, a lot of people have been calling. A lot. Yeah. You're selling out shows. It was pretty exciting stuff, huh? Yeah, it's it's been it's been crazy the last few months. I have to been... say, I love the man bun, and I just read that your management apparently told you to get rid of the man bun. No, seriously? Yes, not, not, not quite. There was a uh, we. I suppose I I just never thought about I didn't I didn't know what a man bun was <laughs> months ago, like until somebody said it to me. So I never care. Like I I never, you know. So there is always a thing like should should it be worn down and right and on TV because or... at the Victoria's Secret uh, fashion show you had it you had the hair flowing yeah when you were singing Take Me to Church <laughs> the girls are walking by and your hair's just flowing with the right. girls yeah we had we had a fan no I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> how cool was that experience that was fun yeah I'd never done a fashion show before I'd never but done is it hard to concentrate when you got those little jiggly bottoms going by um you you focus on the job at hand I think no yeah. you don't you focus <laughs> on the booty dog and you get to go to the after parties. Right? right, I'm sure that had to be the best after party ever. It was, it was fun. It was, there was, a, there was a few after parties actually. There was, a, yeah, it was, yeah. The after then, after party, just no food though, right? <laughs> but be real with me here. Be real with me, Josier. That's the loneliest place at a Victoria's Secret after, after party. Right. The buffet. It's, the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> it's all dudes. It's just Josier and Ed Sheeran over there just <laughs> eating. Totally, yeah. Be honest. Did any girls try to pass their phone numbers over to you? I would never say if they did. Oh, uh, but, a gentleman I, rock star. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. That means yes. But, but uh, or, you know, uh, but in this case, I'd just say no because um, or there is always the thing that if, if yeah, I suppose, would, would, would a man keep it a secret if, if, if a woman like that did give him? No. <laughs> no! No, absolutely not. But, and it's okay not to. Yeah. But yeah, I wouldn't, obviously, I wouldn't kiss and tell. But in this case, it's a, it's a big no. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, Happy belated birthday. Thank you very much. Yeah, an much. Irishman born on St. Patrick's Day. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's it's crazy, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it has to happen to somebody, but um, yeah, it, it was fun. It means, you know, everyone's up for a party on your... Was it le- <laughs> was it that uh, your mom just wanted to drink that day, so she wanted to go ahead and pop the baby out so she could start <laughs> drinking again? <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, I hope not. Well, you're only 25, but your voice sounds like... So much older than your age. I mean, how long have you been actually pursuing this singing career? Um, I would, I would have. I mean, I've been singing since I was a child, but I think maybe I started writing it in, in my teen years. Started mm. singing in bands in my, in my teens. You know, was it all 15, about 15. that girl you couldn't get? I mean, the original subject matter. Isn't Probably, that what it always is yeah, when you're sure. an older I rock suppose, star? Yeah, I mean, when you're a teenager, certainly, and everything is terrible. You know. Yeah. <laughs> was like, it a slow transition to blackness, or was it like like that? I mean, um, I think Al means like gospel, like, yeah, right? Gospel. Yeah, that's soul. I mean, you know, I hear you. Um, I think, I mean, I was raised. My my dad was a blues musician, so right. all the music I listened to growing up, every singer I listened to was was you know like Otis Redding, you know yeah. Sam Cooke, Muddy yeah. Waters, Howl the black Wolf. folks. All right, yeah, yeah totally. Right. And Ain't black people in Ireland. <laughs> oh, there is. That's a great question, Al. Good question. I, you know, I've never yeah. been, but I've never met a, an Irish black person or Blirish. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Blirish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Blirish. Um, there is definitely a couple of them. Oh, of course. They like yeah. hanging out. Hey, man. Hey, black guy in Ireland. Hey, yeah, what's yeah. Up? yeah. It's really <laughs> interesting. You say you were inspired by these artists you grew up listening to. Mm-hmm. Do you have an opinion on the recent ruling against uh, Pharrell and Robin Thicke with that whole Marvin Gaye family <sighs> suing? I think. I think it's very, very heavy-handed, and mm. I think for a jury of what seven people was it a jury of seven or eight mm. yeah. to decide Judge, upon yeah. to decide upon something that will be used as a precedent for all artists now or possibly for a long, long time. I think that's a very serious thing, and I think all music, I think all music is inspired by music that came before. Sure, there is, there is no such thing as an original idea. There is no such thing. Mm. There is no. I know that sounds cynical or, or cold, but everything, like especially when you look at blues music, yeah. Everyone borrows from from a tradition of folk, uh, f- from kind of folk songs, especially right. with blues music. It, everything develops from something beforehand, and I think 
that has to be taken into consideration. Yeah, sure well, the very you, first song was. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it kind of had you sitting there as. <laughs> Happy birthday, I'm for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I bet all musicians, though, I mean, did you find yourself sitting there when you read that and you're like, oh man, I mean, I have these songs and they were inspired by yeah. these people? Yeah, absolutely. And especially because in this case, we're not dealing with a melody or we're not dealing with a chord progression. It's based on what has been quoted as just a feel. Mm -hmm. And I think. It's got the same feel. That's like, what they that's, said. What does that mean? And I think like that's a very, very loose term mm -hmm. to be dealing with a, such a serious lawsuit. I think that's right. very. I think it's. I think it's. It's a, if it's a difficult one. Do you, you know? do that though when you're when you're in the car and you hear a song you haven't heard before mm -hmm. and you say, oh, I like that, but I want to switch this up and maybe change the melody and I could create my own song. It's never a conscious decision. I mean, certainly maybe there are people who make remixes. Uh -huh. That would be amazing if I, if I sampled that. And like and of course there's a, there's an element to sure, that. Sure, right. But certainly when you nothing and and I don't think in Pharrell's case that's a conscious decision to go. Hey, let's let's totally rip this off and make right. our own. No yeah. one does that. I yeah. mean, no no yeah. real artist.